All right, so I've been trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do when it came to a video recently, and I thought a great idea would be to make a Ventoy um, disc. Now, Ventoy is a fantastic tool. It doesn't work in every single scenario, but it does work in quite a few scenarios, um, the grass, vast majority of them. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys exactly how to make a Ventoy USB. All right, so we're here inside of our favorite web browser, uh, Microsoft Edge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to ventoy.net. Um, so V-E-N-T-O-Y dot N-E-T, all right? Now that's gonna go ahead and bring us on this little tool that looks like it's from the 1940s. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click downloads right here. And then the next thing that we're going to do, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select this option for the live CD.ISO and go ahead and get that downloaded here from SourceForge by clicking on the other one that says EventoUSB.ISO. All right, now that we have that downloaded, we're going to want to go ahead and grab Rufus, which is going to go ahead and take that ISO and put that ISO onto a USB drive that we're going to use to boot into the Ventoy installation. So. On here, we're gonna to go to rufus.ie, all right? And in rufus.ie, we're gonna scroll all the way down the page until we get down to this link section. And it's gonna be rufus.r situation is 4.10.exe. Uh, we don't want the P, which stands for portable, all right? We're gonna go ahead and click this little X that's right here and it'll automatically start the download process. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and launch into our, uh, Rufus program, go here to the file explorer, go to downloads, double click Rufus, click yes. And now in my situation, I already have a USB drive that has been plugged into the machine. It's my 32 gig, no label drive. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave boot selection as disk or ISO image, cause we're gonna be loading an ISO image onto it. Go ahead and click select and it's gonna bring us straight to our download section. And we're gonna go ahead and grab that uh, Ventoy, open, and we're going to leave everything else alone. There's nothing we need to change on this. If you want to rename it, I guess you could, but we're going to go ahead and click start and we're going to uh, write ISO image mode. And we're going to go ahead and click OK to knowing that it's going to delete everything that's on the disk. All right, once that's finished, it'll only take like a minute or two. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, that was super quick. It took me about 24 seconds to go ahead and make that. Uh, image. All right now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here and click power, and then we're going to hold left shift. This should work. We'll see. Hold left shift and click restart. In most scenarios, it, it's been working for me lately, so that 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 should be a good sign. Should be a good sign. We'll see. Now it feels like it's an eternity, so I hope that you picked a strong finger. You don't want to do this with your pinky. Where well, I'm going with my uh, my ring finger because you know. It's, it's a super strong one. That's where you put your ring, you know, which just, you know, listening to me. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. Use a device. All right. And then we have this EFI, uh, UEFI USB disc three option that, that, that should be the one that I'm wanting to click. Once it restarts, it should bring us straight into the um, Ventoy USB. If for some reason yours doesn't, I'm gonna go ahead and have a thing right up here that shows different boot buttons to press to go into um, uh, boot devices. All right, it didn't work out for me. I'm on an Asus motherboard, so we're gonna go ahead and restart, and I'm gonna spam F8. Again, yours should be up there. A lot of the times it does work. Whenever I'm recording, it, it seems to not wanna work, but that's just Windows being Windows. Now this Ventoy USB does work also for things like a Microsoft Windows install. All right, here we go. Ventoy Live CD GUI, because saying GUI sounds bad. All right, it's gonna boot into the live USB. It's loading. And come on, you can do it. There we go. Now it's gonna bring you on the first boot to this uh, little page. Ventoy in package, you're looking at version 1.1.07, Ventoy on device, which is this device here. There's no Ventoy on device. We're gonna go ahead and click install, press okay, press okay again. It's gonna install it to this disk. And now what that's gonna do is it's gonna make an EFI partition that boots, um, but also what it's gonna do is allow for the remaining storage on the device 
to be used as a mounted drive. So we can go ahead and boot into a specific um, specific use, uh, ISO. All right. And this 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 is really this is really useful uh, for people that either this way you have a backup if you're doing a, a, a Linux install and you're not entirely sure if you're going to stick with it and you want to be able to have your Windows install and, and, and get back to you know a system that you're comfortable with you can always do a you know reinstall with that or say your dual boot doesn't work things like that but if you're also someone like me that does a lot of distro hopping a Ventwick disk is very useful because um, I can go ahead and put multiple ISOs on one one USB, and I can just install Fedora or Arch or you know Pop OS stuff like that. All right, and it's as simple as when you get back in here, you just go ahead and you'll see this one that says Ventoy, and all you do is drag and drop an ISO onto that. So say I wanted to go ahead and use my most recent one, which is the Bazite install. And it's good to have a fast USB 3.0 drive for this type of thing. But if I go here for my Bazite install that I recently did, you just drag and drop it on, and then you can boot into it. Um, so your boot key is the important part uh, in that. So knowing in my situation um, that I have an Asus motherboard and F8 is going to get me into the boot uh, devices, or F12 is going to get me into it with a uh, the uh, Aorus board that I have, those types of things, highly useful. So I'll go ahead and make sure that that's uh, up on the screen when uh, when I put the video out. If it's not there, I'm sorry that I failed you. I'm a horrible person. I completely understand that. All right. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Don't be afraid to dive on into the rift.